Hello and welcome. This is Bloomer Quint and this is the earnings special. We are taking stock of Wipro's earnings with the CFO of the company, Jatin Dalal. Uh, Jatin, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to start off with my first question. Uh, well, uh, it's to do with the outlook essentially and you have given a guidance of around 0 to 2 percent for the upcoming quarter. My question really is that what does the order book look like and what is the pipeline that is also part of Wipro at this point uh, that could lead you to the, the guidance that you have uh, well, given us? What is baked in? Sure. Uh, thank you for having me. So, uh, you know, as you know, we delivered at a midpoint of our guidance in quarter three and we are guided for zero to two percent for quarter four. And that is really backed up by uh, a fairly good order booking that we saw in quarter three. Trajectory wise, we improved the trajectory of our order booking. And uh, we also have a fairly healthy uh, deals pipeline which uh, uh, gives us confidence around the guidance for quarter four that we are given. Uh, you know, Jatin, in the press conference, Abit spoke about the fact that almost all, all of your clients <coughs> pardon me, are choosing Wipro for business transformation, which means that there are already deals which are signed in. There is a possibility of many more to come through. My question is that when digital revenues or the digital initiatives are growing at around 28%, they now comprise as much as 40% of your revenues. Uh, there is always that concern with respect to the banking financial vertical, which is, of course, the largest, not only for you all, but also for the, the industry as a whole. What uh, kind of conversations are you having right now? with the clients and what is the indication for the outlook going forward not necessarily for the fourth quarter but even for a few quarters thereafter BFSI uh, is uh, is one of the largest business units for us as well as for the industry uh, there is certain amount of uh, pressure on spending uh, uh, competitiveness around price which is uh, which is more pronounced now than it was four quarters back uh, I believe uh, you know BFSI as a sector has always remained the most sensitive to the macro environment uh, uh, over growth patterns uh, markets movements and this year while overall outlook on macro remains fairly stable I would I would believe that we should we should uh, weigh in and and really see how this sector is responding uh, every quarter. It's not going to be a year where you can say in the beginning of the year that this is this year is going to uh, be you know X outlook or Y outlook about BFSI. I think uh, uh, this year is something that one would want to watch every quarter where the sector is and what should be our priorities vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the demands of our customer. Okay, Jatin, you know, in, even in terms of uh, renewables, uh, are there concerns about the new renewables or the renewals that are coming through? Do they have a relatively shorter duration? Uh, is, is that a concern or is that just thing, how things are going to pan out from here on based on customer requirements and the change in technology? Well, I would say uh, uh, renewals are certainly more selective. Um, uh, there is uh, an evaluation of, uh, um, of uh, additional work or discretionary work, uh, which is more pronounced down than what we have seen in past. Um, and, uh, uh, and therefore, uh, you know, we have to remain very nimble-footed vis-a-vis customers a demand and customers spend preferences every quarter and position ourselves uh, for that uh, uh, quarter's needs of our customers. Okay, Jatin, can you give us an idea or a possible outlook on uh, the operating margins specifically with IT services? It's at around 18.4 for this particular quarter, which has been an expansion from the previous sequential quarter. Uh, can we at least see Wipro maintain without too much of a pressure considering you have suggested that there could be a little bit of a challenge when it comes to pricing?
Uh, you know, I will share the margin for first three uh, quarters of this year. We delivered 18.4, 18.1 and again back to 18.4. So, we have been very uh, range bound or, or within a, a very uh, narrow band of, of performance and I am quite happy with the way we have managed this year on, on margins. Okay. Uh, we have been able to invest at the same time we have been able to find dollars that we, that we, uh, we wanted to invest in. Uh, uh, going forward, uh, you know, our priority, as I always said, remains growth. So, uh, if we have to make investments in a new technology, a new offering, or new customer need, we will we will not hesitate to make that investment and get the growth uh, trajectory uh, improved from what we are operating at. Uh, with that priority, uh, we will, uh, you know, uh, that's that's the handle we are working with. Having said that, you have seen our performance, we will, we will remain uh, very, very cost conscious on finding these investment dollars from our automation, from our uh, other traditional levers around pyramid, offshoring and, and so on and so forth. So, uh, so I, will, I will leave you with that. Uh, our track record uh, has been disciplined and, and uh, without compromising on investment. Uh, but our but very clearly investment is is always first priority for us okay Jat, and then leave us with uh, how you're seeing things pan out for your cbu as well as uh, well uh, healthcare and life sciences cbu has done extremely well they've grown 12 percent this year why oh why this quarter we feel uh, we have been uh, well very well positioned with our customer on transformation side, which is driving our growth. Uh, so overall, uh, a great story and, and excellent execution by, by our teams in, in that segment, uh, in that business unit. Uh, going forward, one, one, one does feel good about it. Let's see how, how we pan out in, in, in quarter four and, and further. Uh, health, as you know, we have always uh, had a little bit of a uh, uh, lower growth in health uh, because uh, one of our acquisitions has not been in doing too well. Uh, quarter three, typically open enrollment uh, quarter is typically a, a, a large volumes quarter for or a, for our uh, uh, for our uh, uh, ACS segment uh, acquisition that H HPS acquisition, and which has helped us deliver. Uh, a very uh, good growth in quarter three, uh, but some of that volumes will come down in quarter four. So our endeavor would be to remain in a narrow band on on uh, on health side. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, we leave it at that, Jatin. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us through the quarter's numbers as well as the outlook for Vipro. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Again, bye bye.